So today's video, I actually didn't even record this. I had to use NVIDIA GeForce uh, replay capture because I wasn't even recording when this happened and it was probably one of the most clutch diamond shots I've ever made. I was tracking this guy for three kilometers at least um, on multiplayer and then I lost him and I had to reset the time. Luckily I got the host by then, reset the time, chase him another, finally found him again, chased him another 500 yards and then right here we'll see I finally got up to him and he flew my direction and I got out the recurve so then I can just shoot him on the ground because I thought he was going to run on the ground or else I would have kept the shotgun out and you can see he just took off instantly and I just instantly reacted and you can see got that flying shot somehow with the recurve really really impressive and this is my first max level eastern turkey on this map and I was the east side of the map using just the small and luckily I actually had the small arrows equipped too or else that could have also been bad but went a ways because just a flesh hit with the small arrows but such a cool thing that I was able to capture that wasn't even recording and you can see 4.7 is a trophy rating and decent weight one of the bigger diamonds usually most diamond turkeys are always 4.6 so 4.7 plus is always a nice one and 30 meters with the recurve on the fly just instantly reacted and hit him even through a tree this is a piebald level 6 alligator that I think was also on the same server or is this another multiplayer server and I panicked because I was going for a neck shot and I just rushed, rushed the shot because he was going to the water and I thought I lost him so I actually stopped recording right here and then he just popped up a couple hundred meters away dead and flowed straight in. And here's the pickup on him. It's uh, only a silver but I really like the pattern on this piebald, one of the cooler ones. I've seen a lot of piebalds and they have a ton of different like skin types for piebald like some will be really black for just like white or pink around the face or all just little chunks of pink around the body and it's just a really really cool looking one we got lucky with got a lot of pink on them and a lot of black but I think that'll be it for this video I'll go to the lodge but just making a quick little video before I have to leave out of town for work and I hope you enjoyed and we'll go take a look at him in the lodge this is our secondary lodge having a really bad frame rate I think because of my second monitor lately but this is where I put the piebald gator and I really like the gators because they can go on the little mounts the I think even the bird size mounts or plaques I should say and they look really good unlike most predators like mountain lions and bears they look terrible on the wall plaques but gators actually look really good up there on the wall see all these poses eventually I'm gonna have to find a rare raccoon maybe even a diamond if we get multiple diamond raccoons to put in a multi mount with him but I like how he looks like that right there really cool piebald and then the eastern turkey we have in our Silver Ridge Peaks Lodge. And here we are in our Silver Ridge Peaks Lodge. And I just put the Diamond Turkey in this hallway with a Merriam's. I really wish we had a multi mount for the Eastern Wild Turkeys. Like maybe even a trio. Or even one like this where it's three toms. Or I, I'd prefer. If you could somehow fit all three of them on one of those small platforms but this is the comparison you can see Eastern is way more detailed than the Merriam's so the Merriam's was the first one they first turkey they ever did worked on just huge difference way more detail in this one and especially on the body you can see that's just I mean nothing special on the body especially if you're 
have them full body mounted. The details, the color on the body of the Eastern Turkey just looks so good. You can see right there the difference and the lower feathers on the fan are always glitched out in the mounts for some reason. But that will have to do for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.